I think the goal we all share, the agenda we all share, is to clearly put to everyone the position of the major parties and to offer a progressive left alternative. I think um, there's never been a more t better time to do this uh, because never have the major parties been more out of touch uh, than they are today. In the Queensland Parliament just last week, every evening at six o'clock, we have, we have a motion that's put forward by one of the major parties. Um, on Wednesday, um, there was a resolution put forward by the LNP that the Queensland Parliament support the federal government's policy of turning back the boats. That was su supported, obviously, by the LNP, more disappointingly by ALP as well. So um, the vote was 85 to 1, and I was proud to be the one against. And even more interestingly, on Thursday at 6 p.m., the parliament debated another motion for the LNP condemning the federal Labor environmental spokesman, Mark Butler, for his comments that there will be no new coal mines in the short to medium term in this country. And surprisingly again, both major parties supported that resolution <laughs> and it was carried 85 votes to one with my vote being the one against. I think it is those challenges on the environment where the major parties really don't get it. But the kids get it, young people get it, you all get it. And um, I think that's going to be a real strength uh, to us as a movement moving forward. Um, just some of the other things in Queensland uh, that are happening. Uh, you might have heard of the Vlad laws, which I think have been used once. And uh, they're basically laws uh, against association. Um, in this case of motorcycle gangs. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, it, interestingly, they don't have any uh, um, laws against association of white collar criminals. Um, <laughs> the focus is on the, the motorcycle gangs. With that, the Labor Party in Queensland has sensibly had a judicial review by uh, Judge Wilson, and that's great, and I support his recommendations. But to avoid the accusation of being soft on crime, which well, we can never be soft on crime, can we? <laughs> so, um, so the Labor Party's added uh, a draconian measure that you're still not allowed to wear your colours in public and they're still not allowed to have clubhouses. And I'm saying, well, if you don't want them to have, wear their colours in public, surely they can have a clubhouse, you know? Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I won't be supporting that. And this is where it gets a bit um, confusing because unfortunately as an independent, you're seen as voting with the ALP or the LNP. Well, I vote how I bloody vote, and, and they can vote how they vote. And, and, and if sometimes the LNP vote with the same way I do, I'm not voting with them. So that sort of legislation is a great example where I'll vote against it because I think it's, uh, it's going too far, and uh, the LNP will vote against it because they think it's not going far enough. <laughs> uh, so it's a funny old world we live in, isn't it? One thing that I think, and Peter spoke about this, that we can really take heart from is the reaction against uh, the mainstream political class. And we see this, of course, in the United States. And uh, of course, it's concerning with Donald Trump. But uh, boy, isn't it a delight to follow the campaign of Bernie Sanders. It's, it's an absolute delight. And I think, I think uh, there's hope in this country. Um, like. Boy, are we crying out for a Bernie Sanders. Um, but, but I think there is hope and hopefully the federal uh, election will show that people are prepared uh, to look for such an alternative. In terms of an alternative, um, I also agree with Peter's comments, but Fergal, our Socialist Alliance um, coordinator from Brisbane, made a good point at the way they handled the recent council elections there, where they met with one of the Green candidates, listened to him, found out what he believed in, and uh, they said, right, we'll back you. And, um, and I think that is a very mature way to go. Uh, too often in the left, we've searched for that little thing where we might disagree and put, a diff put another candidate. So I think um, that idea of working together um, to get someone, and maybe we need to have uh, heads of agreement or some points, but I think uh, we all know we believe in, in this room and, and we back people that stand for office that believe in that. Um, and, and in terms of strategies to be successful, uh, it just comes back to the same old thing. 
I think everyone here knows the three things you need to be successful. Uh, you need to organise, organise and organise. But I, I think the time is right in that uh, the challenges, and it was wonderful to hear uh, Ian Angus speak uh, about the Anthropocene and climate change, and, and I really feel that the problems we see are the real problems because we know they're backed by science, and the answers we have are the right answers because our answers are backed by science. And the, re the reinterpretation uh, of Marx's text and the application to the challenges facing us today, uh, it's really uh, amazing to see. I think it is, it is, we have every reason to be optimistic moving forward that people will see we have the answers uh, to the problems that face the world. Um, one point Ian made when he was in Cairns was that um, Labor people or the Democrats in the United States, they say, oh well, you know, we're all in, a, we're all in the same boat with climate change. Um, we've all got to work together because we're all in the same boat, we're all in the same situation. And uh, Ian said in Cairns, well that's not really true. Um, in responding to climate change, some of us are in business class, some of us in economy, some of us in first class, and there's armed guards at the door. And, uh, and, and that is really the situation we are in, uh, especially with Pacific Islands and Bangladesh. These are countries that have never had the benefits of industrialisation. They have never caused the problems, yet they're going to be the first to, cause the, to, to, to face um, utter disaster at the hands of um, rising sea levels. And um, you know, even in the Torres Strait, uh, we've got people wanting to bury family with other family and they can't because uh, their graves have been inundated by salt water. Why isn't the media talking about this? We've just got to talk about it constantly and um, surely uh, there's going to reach some point where, uh, where it's unavoidable in terms of being the major public policy issue. And every, every issue of policy must be seen not through the prism of economic rationalism but through the prism of a response to climate change. The only way we can win um, is to be organised at a very grassroots level. Uh, in my town of Cairns, we're lucky to have um, Jonathan Strauss, Carla Gordon, and a very organised group of people in Cairns um, who are, are helping um, to grow this movement there. And um, just let me say, Peter described me as being new to the movement. My grandmother, uh, Catherine Pine, um, was, uh, well, I've lived in my camp, my, Family's been in North Queensland for five generations. Uh, but Nana Kate uh, was a communist. At the time, um, North Queensland was known as the Red North. I just make the point not to trivialise her, her contribution, but the main stories we heard were around um, dances and social activities. And I think that's an area where we maybe need to, like conferences like today are really important, but it is through that, those grassroots community activities, like being on PNCs, like being not necessarily at political think tanks, but at those sort of community, community gatherings. And just that's how we draw people who are non-politicised into our response. And um, I just think uh, if we can do that at a grassroots level and get, get great participa participa participation from the, from the wider community through all forums, um, we, can really, uh, we can really grow. Um, my only other comment really is, uh, my approach, and uh, it has worked so far, is to sm start small, uh, work hard and win. So um, too often I think we, um, we run federal candidates as a way of making a statement. But um, I, I started as a president uh, of a student union, um, campaigned hard, won that, then as a local councillor and, uh, and uh, now as, a, um, as an MP. But um, data is important, so we must work together in terms of sharing uh, like data when we're mailing out our support groups. I know this is, seems like uh, boring technical stuff, but data harvesting, getting people's business cards off your local community notice board, having community forums, and, um, and really community, and using the social media. Like all of us here are, um, we should be supporting each other on every social media platform uh, like a spider web covering the country. And, uh, and, and we must use that sort of technology as best we can. Thank you all very much.